number one cause of airport accidents involving electrical equipment is working at unsafe speeds. You may think that there isn't enough time to take proper safety precautions. Or you may not take time to think through the proper procedures carefully. Yet even in emergency repair situations, care must be taken to follow the proper safety procedures in order to avoid serious injury or death. Airport lighting circuits, by their nature, are very dangerous. These lighting circuits can operate at several thousand volts depending on the size of the regulator driving the circuit and the load. Further, much of an airport's electrical equipment is exposed to weather and moisture that can cause insulation deterioration. There are several basic safety rules that must be strictly followed to avoid electrical shocks. 1. Begin maintenance procedures only after making a visual inspection to look for possible hazards. Due to the danger of lightning strikes, lighted navigational aids should not be serviced during periods of local thunderstorm activity. 2. Always assume that the circuit is energized until you have proven otherwise. Make it a required practice to check the circuit with an ammeter prior to breaking the connections. Never attempt to measure voltage in a series lighting circuit using ordinary voltmeters. An inductive non-contact type of voltage detecting instrument, commonly referred to as a ticker, may be used to detect the presence of any induced voltages after checking the circuit with a clamp-on ammeter. However, never use this type of instrument as the only check for an energized airfield lighting circuit conductor. Always use a true RMS clamp-on type ammeter to verify the circuit is energized. This is because voltage can't be detected at or near the electrical center of a series circuit, and using an inductive voltage measuring device to determine if the circuit is de-energized could lead to a fatal accident. And always check the operation of the test equipment on a known live circuit before and after measurements are taken. 3. Never, under any circumstances, break a live series circuit. The voltage generated in the circuit can reach levels many times normal before the regulator's open circuit protection can shut it down. As long as a current flow can be maintained, even if it is through your body, the regulator will continue to operate. 4. Never enter a manhole with energized conductors. Never handle cables or transformers in light base cans while there is current present without using appropriate personal protective gear, such as properly rated high-voltage gloves. Cables or connectors can have cracked insulation where it is not visible or may be deteriorated and fall apart, exposing you to circuit conductors. 5. The most common task on the airfield is relamping runway and taxiway lighting fixtures. The greatest unseen danger to an electrician is relamping or removing the fixture with the circuit energized. This always has been a common practice by airport electricians for convenience, and the dangers are often overlooked.